with the cute cook in the kitchen. Cooking is fun, easy, and it doesn't have to take you all day. Today I'm going to make bourbon chicken sliders, rosemary feta chips, and green fries. So let's get started. I've already got my griddle pan warming up because I want to make sure that it's nice and hot when I put my chicken on. I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. For my green fries, I'm going to prep this casserole pan right here by spraying a little teeny bit of non-stick non cooking spray. Use a paper towel to spread it around because I don't want it to be too much in one space. I've got these string beans that I've already clipped the ends off of. I washed them, I clipped the ends, and I used my trusty kitchen shears. Kitchen shears are awesome because with kitchen shears you don't have to worry about a cutting board, you don't have to worry about snipping your finger off. You just take them, you take a bushel of the green fries, oops, see, I have one that I missed, and just snip. See, look at that. How easy was that? So I'm going to go ahead and dump these on here in this pan. Coat them with, I'd say, about a tablespoon of olive oil. Season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now this is the fun part. You get to make a little bit of a mess. Get your hands all in there. Get your hands all in there. Toss it up. You want to make sure that they're laying in an even layer on the bottom of the pan. You don't want them all on top of each other because you want the heat to distribute evenly on them. Right. Now I'm going to get my chicken ready. Again, back to my trusty kitchen shears. Now I'm going to cut my chicken into strips. Now you may notice that I haven't seasoned this chicken. The reason being is because, like I said, we're making bourbon chicken. So you don't want to put too much seasoning on it because the bourbon sauce is going to uh, really be your main flavor. And you don't want your flavors to compete. So I've got my oil going right now from my rosemary feta chips. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sprig of rosemary to it so that it will actually flavor the oil a little bit and give it a nice little taste when you get your potatoes in there. Woo! My oil was nice and hot and ready for that sprig of rosemary. And you'll see it already started to brown a little bit. So I'm going to, my oil is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. And right here I have some potatoes that I sliced whoop, with a box slicer. If you have a mandolin, that'll work also. It's just a standard white potato that I sliced up so I have them nice and ready for you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and drop my chips, not fries, into the, the rosemary oil. You can smell the rosemary coming up off that. Flip my chicken. It's got some nice color. Now i got to get my bourbon sauce going. Oh no! My chips, my chips, my biscuits are burning. All right. See how nice those are, that nice little brown color? You don't want to get them much past this. Gonna get my bourbon sauce going. Yay for the bourbon sauce. About a cup and a half of barbecue sauce. Whoa. <laughs> About three tablespoons of marmalade teaspoon of horseradish, and now the bourbon. Now, even though I come from a family of heavy pourers, it's really important for you not to put too much because you don't want the flavor of the bourbon to dominate all the other flavors in your uh, bourbon sauce. So I'm going to keep it to about two tablespoons of bourbon. Okay, so my chicken is done, and to save myself some more time, I just use my spatula and chop it up into rough chunks. It doesn't have to be precise, there's no science to this. You want it to be delicious. And it'll still look pretty, trust me on that. But it doesn't, it's not like you have to chop it into three quarters of an inch squares or anything along that route. You just want to get them into bite-sized pieces. So I'm leaving this here for just a second so I can check on my green fries. Ooh, they're starting to crisp up nicely. Got a nice little coating going on them. I have a couple of grape tomatoes here that I'm going to use later on as garnish. So I'm just going to go ahead and slice those. So I'm going to take the chicken straight off the griddle and just drop it right into my sauce. Coat the chicken in the sauce. I've got the last batch of the little last few of my chips getting ready. I'm going to start to plate this. A couple of those on there. They've got the rosemary already. And now here's the salt part. Feta. I love feta cheese. It's one of the stickier cheeses I like, but I can't get enough of it. It's great in an omelet, too. All right, so since my chicken is ready, I am going to now prep my buns. Now, I personally am crazy for the Hawaiian uh, rolls or for the potato rolls. 
because I feel like the sweetness of those breads really complements barbecue. But again, you can use whole wheat rolls, you can use uh, white rolls, whatever it is you want. So I'm gonna take my knife, cut it in half. Just a little bit, you wanna leave it attached though so that you have a little pocket for it. I wanna get my green fries out. La, da, da, da. Ooh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Put a couple green fries on your plate. Get my little tomato garnish. You know, take a big scoop of your bourbon chicken and drain a little bit of the sauce off. The part of the fun of eating barbecue is to get messy. Fun, easy, and it didn't take me all day to make. I'm Lauren, and this has been the Cute Cook in the Kitchen.